Today we are going to show you how to make a high SPF minimal whitening sunscreen formula featuring cobalt titanium dioxide and zinc oxide dispersions. These dispersions are only two of many of the different mineral sunscreen ingredients that Kobo has to offer. This formula is a water and silicone emulsion processed at room temperature. We start to prepare part one by first weighing out the water. The humectant will moisturize the skin and contribute to freeze-thaw stability. Next, we add in sodium chloride which further stabilizes the emulsion by reducing the electrostatic repulsion between lipid particles. Now we add a skin conditioning agent and a preservative. Lastly, we add in Kobo's glycospheres, GS, GT, and GS, VE. These are stable, protective delivery systems that encapsulate active materials. GSGT contains green tea polyphenols. Many studies have shown this antioxidant protects against free radicals. GSVE contains tocopherol or vitamin E, which is also known to protect against free radicals, along with numerous other well-known skin care benefits. Now we prepare the oil phase in the main beaker. We first weigh out the silicones in a low molecular weight ester, which provides slip and spreadability. Next, we add our titanium dioxide and zinc oxide dispersions. CM3K40T4 is a 32% active treated titanium dioxide dispersed in cyclopentasiloxane with a wetting agent. This is a high speed, minimal whitening dispersion that is very easy to incorporate into the oil phase as it is pourable and mixes in easily. CM3K65FZS is Kobo's triethoxy caprosilane treated zinc oxide dispersed in cyclopentasiloxane with a wetting agent. This dispersion contains a high active ZNO content of 62.4%. We now add in Sunboost ATB, which is a proprietary ratio of antioxidant, anti-irritant, and anti-inflammatory agents. This blend boosts SPF and PFA values. Next, we add in emulsifiers to stabilize the water and silicone emulsion. We move the oil phase to the homogenizer and mix with good agitation. Please note that the speed adjustment will depend on the lab batch size. Now we move on to the emulsification process. We slowly add the water phase into the oil phase under homogenization. After the water phase is fully added, let this continue to mix for about 10 to 15 minutes to ensure proper emulsification. Next, we move on to part three. We will add in EA209, Kobo's ethylene acrylic acid copolymer, and mix well until batch is homogeneous. This microsphere helps provide the formulation with a dry slip as well as imparts soft focus. Once homogeneous, move from the beaker into the glass jars and fill into components. Kobo specializes in the custom formulation and dispersion of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. We offer a wide selection of dispersions that include various particle sizes, surface treatments, and a wide range of carriers, including volatile solvent bases. Kobo Products also provides a variety of film formers, boosters, and microspheres to make highly functional and elegant sunscreen products. Please visit the website for more information.